Raising a puppy does not have to be a hugely expensive endeavour, but there are a few pieces of equipment that you will absolutely need. The first is a flat collar. We also recommend that you have your dog's name along with your contact details on the collar somewhere, so that if by some chance your puppy gets away from you, anyone that finds it will be able to quickly get in touch with you. As the puppy grows, we're going to use two different types of leashes. In the early stages, we like to use a flexi leash. We have an entire video dedicated to teaching you how to best use the flexi. As the puppy grows, we'll transition to a standard six foot leash. A treat bag or training pouch will be your latest fashion accessory. For our first few months with the puppy, we want to always be in a position where we can reward the puppy for doing things we like. So we recommend getting a treat bag that is comfortable and easy to use. We're going to need two different types of toys. One for chewing and another one for playing. And we will be showing you how to build value for both. You will need separate food and water bowls that are easy for you to clean. You may need to keep the physical characteristics of your puppy in mind as we have with this raised bowl to keep a Springer Spaniel's floppy ears out of its food. And finally, in your home you will need a crate. We were able to save some money by buying the size crate that our puppy would grow into, but had a removable divider so that we could make it nice and small for her while she was still tiny herself. A lot of the time with dog equipment, you get what you pay for. And so we recommend getting the best equipment you can afford particularly where your puppy's safety is at risk. 